But in every Catholic church, there are altars. In the altar, there's a little square that's made to come out. In that altar are pieces of a dead person's body in the form of a bone. My Lord. And the altar in the main auditorium was way bigger than this. They took the altar. They had several bones in it. Mm. They forgot about this one. They thought they could come back and get it and say, no, I say you ain't come back and get nothing. You. <laughs> so when it came time for us to dismantle and I redesigned it for a speaker's podium, they said, uh, I went over there to make sure and I forgot about the little square that was at the top. And I removed it and there it was. Human bone. The Catholics believe that if body parts of dead parishioners who they call saints are sacred. Body part. It can be a finger. It can be a toe. It can be a part of a bone of a human body. When we first bought this campus, the first priest of this place was buried on the grounds right out there where we designed that wall up there and again this morning throughout all Jamaica uh, brother minister Gary sent me an email of a news report that I was listening to out of Jamaica uh, false church I believe they call themselves the pathway international ministries if I'm not mistaken uh, and the police have seized laptops and uh, how the church leaders manipulated the congregations to murder, to kill in the form of sacrifice about 144 Jamaican people. I believe some people within the organization was murdered already. But they arrest, the police caught and arrested the head false prophet and other parishioners. The leader of Pathways International Kingdom Restoration Ministries in Albion, St. James, and his flock have been facing public backlash following the death of two members as a result of a cult-like ritual on Sunday. So when people said, I can't pay my tithes, which is the worship, God's law said you must, by the sweat of your brow, you must eat bread. The accused cult leader remains in custody. A GoFundMe page has been launched by a man bearing the same surname. He's hoping to raise 30,000 US dollars to cover legal fees for the leader and his arrested members. Aladdin Love for CVM Live. Now I know many of you in Jamaica were surprised, but here in America, we're not surprised. Here in America and around the world, the signs of a cult. You will find men declare themselves to be the Messiah. You will find men declare themselves to be God Almighty. You will find men declare themselves to be the reincarnation of Jesus. That's right. You will find men to declare themselves that they are the risen Christ. That's right. That's right. When followers are ignorant, here, yeah, I want to hit you hard, of scripture, then you are lured and enticed by good sounding words. When you have knowledge of scripture, regardless of how good those words sound, those words have no effect. In other words, the scriptures build up your spiritual immune system towards hypocritical teaching. So viewers, we have an old remedy preaching message. And it works. 
lined up with all scripture that you may refrain Hallelujah. and run from falsehood. Yes. Now these young men, middle age or whatever in Jamaica was about to fulfill the wishes of this false prophet. They got videos of him on the news on YouTube doing the antics of the American false prophets, waving his hand over people and they falling out with his little purple robe on. Throwing his hands over people, they falling out, catching them. They learned this from watching America horror stories. That's what religion is. Religion is America horror stories. And it is horrible when you think of what these men are doing to hard working men and women. That's right. And they come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. A wonderful and horrible thing. Listen in the book of Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 5 and at verse 30. Listen. A wonderful and horrible thing two is Two categories. A wonderful. Hold it. Two categories let you know there's two emotions coming as a result of this one act. It's wonderful to some because they're ignorant of the truth of the gospel. So evil is good to them. That's right. A wonderful and horrible and thing. Horrible thing. Is committed in the land. It's taken place in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Oh, yes. It doesn't phase these men today to come in the name of the Lord with all these fake prophecies saying the Lord said this, the Lord said that, the Lord said the other. Veal us. Viewers, hate me much as you please. You know, you can hate your alarm clock, but you said it. You said it to do what it was made to do. God sends the preacher, get the old troublemaker. And God sent him to do what he sent to do. God made him an alarm. Why? The world have fell asleep. And the devil has used false prophets through seductive language to make you comfortable in your sins, comfortable in your ignorance, so you can fall asleep when truth is ringing. Just like you take that alarm clock and throw it across the room, do what you want to it, you still know you got to get up. You can take the word of God and push it aside. Do what you want to it. If you ever get into the kingdom of God, you have still got to come back and obey it. That's right. Listen, a wonderful and horrible thing. Is committed in the land. Took place in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely. Prophets are liars. And the priests bear rule the by their means. And the have made themselves rulers by their own means. And my people love to have it so. What kind of person are you? What kind of person? Who love deception. These religious leaders are so cunning, so crafty, so wicked that they will influence men, yeah. women to murder. That's right. Believing they're doing God's service. In the book of St. John. Now, I, I, I want to show you this in the Bible, Jamaica, the Bible. and the world. That's right. I want the 16th chapter of the book of St. John. And we'll start at verse 1. Begin at verse 1. I want everybody to hear this. I want to work on cult leadership and the ignorance, ignorance. of cult followers yeah. when you make your leader the messiah oh yes when you make your leader the reincarnation of christ that's right when you make your leader god almighty himself that's right when you make your leader higher than god when you bow to him, pray to him, all the songs in your temple, in your congregation, is in the name of your leader. Yeah. Are you getting me? Oh, yes. There's an organization here in America. It's called House of Prayer. 
for all the people. Turn me up back there. Give me some more juice. I want a lot of juice. Make it loud. Make it strong. Oh, yes. Amen. That's that. Yo, yes, make it loud. Glory to God. Make it strong. The House of Prayer for All People founded by Bishop C.M. Grace. He was better known as Sweet Daddy Grace. Now you know that's a false prophet. Because a man of God don't wear such a title. No. Sweet Daddy. <laughs> He's dead now in the Christless grave. He'll soon be ushered to hell. That's right. But while he lived, his hair, he allowed to grow further than his shoulders. He let his nails grow long, two and three inches long, until they twist. All the songs that were sung in the house of prayer for all people, they removed all the words that had the name Jesus. And they sung and replaced those words with sweet daddy. You know, I love history, and one day I ran up on one of his videos on YouTube uh -huh. from 1950s. Yeah, I saw it. And the choir, oh, he had a good sound in choir. But there's a song that was sung for years. Jesus is mine. And the choir said, oh, yes, he's mine. So they switched it. And the whole choir sang it, sweet daddy is mine. Sweet daddy is mine. Everywhere I go, everywhere I be, sweet daddy is mine. See, that's coldism. That's coldism. Only one deserves to be prayed to, sung about, wish up. That's God. That's God. Are you listening? That's right. God is jealous. That's right. Hear the old troublemaker now, because I'm pretty sure, but we, we, we haven't been up here long, and I guarantee, thumbs down already. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Pointing where they're going. That's right. Oh, yes. 20th chapter of the book of Exodus. Book I of say Exodus. God is jealous. That's right. Human family. That's right. Your bishop, you should never make a song about him. No. He's unworthy. Your bishop, you should never bow before him. I want every Catholic heathen in the world to hear this. You that are watching throughout Rome. That's right. The Pope is not fit to be bowed to. Think of it. He's a man. He's a man. He got to wash like you. That's right. He had to use soap. He had to brush his teeth or take them out and put them in a jar. That's right. So they can soak overnight. That's right. Amen. Amen. He had to get checkups. He gets sick. Yeah. And he dies. He dies. No man. That's right. Should we ever bow to? No. No man, if you honor that man, let your honor come in compliance with God's eternal word. That's right. Don't sing a song and toss his name in it. I had someone ask me, why don't you change the name uh, of our television program from the truth of God to Pastor Jenna's Ministries? trying to get me in trouble with God? If I have on their passage in his ministry, we'll be advertising a lie. That's right. Because Jesus said, this doctrine is not mine. That's right. This ministry is not mine. That's right. <laughs> this thing is of God. Now I say that Jesus Christ was listen, a minister. Listen, listen, listen. In Romans 15 and verse 8. I say that Jesus Christ was a minister. Of the circumcision. Of the circumcision. For the, for the truth of for God. For the truth of God. For the truth of God. Not for Geno Jenna's ministries. No. When these preachers name their ministry after them, you know where the money is going. That's right. Right to their business. Right to, that's right. 
Get what I'm telling you now. In the book of Follow me in the book of Exodus. Exodus chapter 20 and at verse 1. All right. And God spake all of these words, saying, God spake these words. I am the Lord thy God. Glory to God. I am the Lord thy God. We are. I am the Lord thy Cultism. God. Cultism. That's right. Cults have more than one God. Oh, yes. See, when you got more than one God, or if you got two, you got three, you got four, you got five, you don't represent the God of Israel. No. You see, there's only one true living God that's the God that made Adam. That's right. The first father. That's right. And that's the God that made Eve the mother of all living. Yeah. That's the God that translated Enoch. And that's the God that talked to Abraham. That's right. And that's the God that delivered Israel out of the hands of Pharaoh. That's right. That's the God that created the universe. That's the God that sitteth upon the circle of the earth, and the inhabitants thereof is all as, as the grasshoppers. That's right. These other gods, plural, fake, yes. phony, weak, dumb, ignorant. You know, you say you're a preacher. It's God Almighty. And then I come along and ask you, well, when was his birthday? <laughs> like in the Nation of Islam says that Master Farad Muhammad, the great Mahdi, was God. Born 18 something. That's a devil out of hell. That's the devil. God ain't never was born. Before the mountains were brought forth. What? Before. Here. Give chapter and verse where I want them to follow me to the letter. Psalms 90. We'll start at verse 1. What is it? Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. How many? Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all. How many? In all. How many lords? Lord. Get there. Lord. Spell it. L-O-R-D. Lord. How many? One. One. Lord, Lord, thou hast been our dwelling thou place. Thou hast been. Thou hast been. I let you know you got to dwell in him. Oh, That's yeah. right. So where to go? Thou hast been. You thou. got to be in him. That's right. Thou hast been our dwelling place. In all generations. In all generations. Before the mountains were brought uh -oh. forth. Uh-oh. Before the mountains was brought forth. Or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world. For you made the earth and the world. Even from everlasting. From eternity to everlasting to eternity, thou art God. From no beginning That's right. to no ending, That's right. you're God. Thou art God. From no beginning Amen. to no ending, yes. you're God. That's right. That's the one, we, hallelujah. That's the one we wish up. That's right. Go back to Exodus now. Back in Exodus chapter 20 and verse 1. Follow me. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God. I am the Lord thine God. Which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now hold it. Singular God is talking. Right. And the only time you have a G-O-D-S is when you're trying to set up rival against the G-O-D. That's right. All of God true men. Yeah. We know it's one. That's right. Even the devil know it's one to make you believe it's more than one. That's right. Give me the book of James. Book of James, chapter 2, and at verse 19. Let me show you this, viewers. Then we go back to Exodus. Then we go back to John. James, chapter 2, and verse 19. Follow me. Thou believest that there is one God. Wait, how, how are we doing? Thou doest well. Oh, all right, all right. I'm all right then. That's right. If you believe there's one God, how you feel? Thou doest well. How are you doing in God's eyes? The devil's all awesome. Here, Thou how are you well. doing in God's eyes? Thou doest well. If you believe in more than one, you ain't doing well. I don't care even if you think so. That's right. If you believe in more than one, that's right. You're not doing well. They criticize me over the internet. Pastor, you didn't preach one God. That's right, I preach one God. And God said, if I believe there's one, what did he say? Thou doest well. I'm doing well, even if you criticize me. God said I'm doing well. Do now who do you think I'm gonna take? That's right. God says what? Thou believest that there is one God. How are we doing? Thou doest well. 
Amen. I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Now you give me Bible. How are you doing? And the Bible tell me how you're doing. You'd have to believe in more than one. That's give me right. Bible. Tell me how you doing. That's right. I got Bible. How we're doing. That's right. You send me your scripture that tells us how you doing. When you say there's more than one God, Jehovah yes. Witnesses. Mm -hmm. When you make Jesus a God and make Jehovah the God, tell me how you're doing with two. Just right. send me that scripture. I just want to know how you're doing. That's right. Dude, they got three persons in the Godhead. Tell me how you're doing. Making God schizophrenic. That's right. Giving him multi personalities. That's right. Just tell me how you're doing and send me a Bible that said so. <laughs> Listen. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. What knowledge do the devil have? The devils also believe. And what do they do? And tremble. The devil know which one. That's right. But he make you believe it's three. That's right. Why do he make you believe it's three? Because he's the father of lies, and he want all his children to be liars like him. Like him. Go back to the book of Exodus. Back in Exodus chapter 20, now we're at verse 2. Listen. I am the Lord I thy am the God, Lord, thine God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Yes. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Don't you have no other gods before me? Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven Don't image. Don't make unto thee any graven image. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven That's above. That's another thing that take place in cultism. They make images of their leader and pay homage to him, right. bow to him, pray to him, make that image sacred. That's right. Until it become a good luck charm. That's right. They put so much confidence in the image. That's right. And every Catholic church, let me educate you. When we bought this campus, you know, folks heard me preach against wealth and all that type of stuff when you get it wrongfully. And somebody got so offended, they say, well, look at that marble podium up there. I bet you paid a lot of money for that. <laughs> we didn't pay nothing for it. <laughs> we ain't paid nothing for it. Yeah. This was not a podium. It was a marble, an Italian, thick, heavy, 1929 hand-carved marble altar. That was in the convent. Yeah. And I redesigned it. Wonderful. Yeah. I got my men together and told them, look at the seams of the entire altar and dismantle it and then number it and bring it to the lower auditorium and lay it on the floor. And I came and looked at each number. They said, just the altar. I said, no, get the marble off the wall too. I'm going to use that. Mm -hmm. Took the marble off the wall. I mean, it, brother, them brothers were struggling with it. It was so heavy. I say, lay it out. Yeah. And I got my pencil and took the altar to redo it. This piece right here wasn't part of the altar. We took it off the wall. Those big squares on the front never was on the altar. They was mounted into a wall. So I took an altar and redesigned it. Yes. So it didn't cause us nothing. <laughs> But in every Catholic church, there are altars. In the altar, there's a little square that's made to come out. In that altar are pieces of a dead person's body in the form of a bone. My Lord. And the altar in the main auditorium was way bigger than this. They took the altar. They had several bones in it. Hmm. They forgot about this one. They thought they could come back and get it and say, no, I say you ain't come back and get nothing. You. <laughs> so when it came time for us to dismantle and I redesigned it for a speaker's podium, they said, uh, I went over there to make sure and I forgot about the little square that was at the top. And I removed it and there it was. Human bone. The Catholics believe that if body parts of dead parishioners who they call saints are sacred. Body part. It can be a finger. It can be a toe. It can be a part of a bone of a human body. When we first bought this campus, the first priest of this place was buried on the grounds. 
right out there where we designed that wall up there. It was buried in the ground. I told him, I don't mind buying the church, but the priest don't come with it. Priest don't come with it. Right. They wanted to leave him in the ground. I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. You're going you're gonna to come get this package and get it out of here. Because if we dig him up, amen. 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 And he burnt the bones of the priests. Listen. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 34, and at verse 5. What happened? And he burnt the bones of the priests. He burnt the bones of the priests. Upon their altars. Upon their altars. And cleansed Judah and Jerusalem. That's what the world needs to be cleansed. And they break down the altars break of Baal down in his the presence. the altars of Baal in his presence. And the images that were on and high the above images them. images that was on high above them. He cut down. That's what we did here when we bought this campus. Yeah. We went on imagery killing spree. Yeah. Amen. I looked over there, there were some brothers just kicking images down. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Tearing them to pieces. That's right. That's right. Why? We had to cleanse the house. Cleanse. That's right. Cleanse it. Cleanse. Purify it. That's Once right. you cleanse it naturally, you got to come back and clean it spiritually. And the groves and the carved images and the, and the molten images. And what? He break in pieces. Break in pieces. And make dust of them. Make dust of them. So I was in a barber shop and I found out there was a Daily News sitting there and on the front page, priests removed from resting place. I'm like, okay, well. And I noticed the address, 5105 North 5th Street. That's how I found out. Wow. They snuck in and grave robbers. Amen. First, they were defiant and didn't want to do it. But what, they changed their mind. You know why? They remembered that they buried him with the pure, solid, gold, large cross wow. laying on the chest of a corpse. Pure gold. Dug him up and got that gold out of there. I don't know what they done with him, but I'm pretty sure what they done with that gold. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. So we had to get rid of the images. That's right. Demolish them. Yeah. Ain't kidding about what they cost. No. We had to get rid of them. That's right. Whenever you have a coat. Images are made not only out of clay, but 99% of the time out of flesh That's right. and blood. That's right. Now let me show you the danger of these men and women who are co-leaders. Yes. 16th chapter of the book of John. In, jo in St. John chapter 16, and we'll start at verse 1. Listen good. These things have I spoken unto you. Jesus that, preaching to us. That's right. These things I spoke to you. That you should not be offended. Don't you be offended. They shall put you out of the synagogues. Now he began to tell his disciples yeah. what will happen to them. They shall put you out of they the synagogues. They're going to throw you out of places of worship. Yea, the time cometh. Listen. Yea, the, the time, time cometh. Come. That whosoever killeth you. Whoever, whoever. Will kill you. Will think that he doeth God's service. And these whoever things, will kill you, whosoever killeth you, will think will think that he doeth God's service. They will believe they're doing the will of God. And these things will they do unto you. They're going to do it unto you. Because they have not known the Father nor me. Because they don't know the spirit nor the flesh that the spirit was in. That's right. They don't know God That's and right. they don't know the Son of God. They shall put Hold you. Hold it. That's right. Given his apostles warning. warning. How you going to be murdered. And when they murder you. The murderers going to believe it's God's will. That's right. Well that also have transitioned. Over to them. That use the name of Jesus Christ. In vain. That's right. 
and send people out to murder. Yeah. In the name of their cult. There was, I forgot the name of this cult leader, but it was over in the Asiatic country. I believe it was in the 1980s or the 1990s. And he sent his followers out to put, I believe what you call that, powder Amtrax on a train throughout Asia. And many people got sick and died. Many men, Waco, Texas, they claimed they were Christians. That's right. There was another area here in America where the false prophet was a cult leader and he influenced all his followers to murder them, kill themselves. And when the FBI found them, they were bodies was all in bunk beds. That's right. Said they was waiting on the arrival of an alien spaceship to take them back to Christ. That's right. Do you remember the 1970s, Jim Jones? Jones. I was in junior high school, now what they call middle school. Took all his followers out of America to Guyana yeah. to have their own community. The government sent officials over there because people wanted to leave the community, sent letters to the government of America during that time, and the government officials came, and those that Wanted to leave, was able to leave the first time. Yeah. But then more complaints came. Government officials came the second time. And when Jim Jones hypocritically said they can leave, when they got to the plane, Jim Jones hit men. Yeah. Armed with rifles and machine guns. Gunned them down at the airport. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Jim Jones began to tell his followers, Armageddon has come. Yeah. It's time for us to take our lives. Yeah. They put poison in, I believe it was Kool Aid, yeah. so they can drink it. Right. And then others were injected with the poison. Even babies. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yes. How was this successfully carried out? Because they were ignorant of scripture. That's right. No cult leader have successful influence over nobody who not only know the scripture, but is strong and sound in the scripture. That's right. You see, you can't only be in the word. The word got to be in you. That's right. You reading it don't mean nothing. No. You understanding it and living by it, that fortifies you against cultism. That's right. That's right. Babies murdered. I remember to this day when we came home and the news flash came on television. I remember that helicopter shot from reporters. Yes. Guyana was hot. Oh, yeah. And the bodies laid out in the sun so long. Bodies laying down, face down, hundreds with their arms around each other. Yeah. And the bodies swelled up and burst. Yes. Babies. Some escaped cultism. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 33, we'll start at verse 1. Listen. Manasseh was 12 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 50 and 5 We're going to give you other signs of cultism, too. That's right. Wonderful. Give chapter and verse again, Williams. 2 Chronicles, chapter 33, now we're at verse 2. What? But did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord. Yes. Like unto the abominations of the heathen whom the Lord had cast out before the children of Israel. Uh -huh. For he built again the high places which Hezekiah his father had broken down. Yes. And he reared up altars for Balaam. And Wait a he, minute. He reared up reared altars up. for Balaam. You know, you got churches called the church of Satan. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Where crosses are in the churches. But the crosses are turned upside down. That's right. Have you noticed how cultists the music industry have become? That's right. 
That's right. Do you notice how satanic? You see, Satan used music. Satan used television. Satan used internet. Satan used every vice. That's right. Including the so-called church. That's right. That's right. Not to lead people to God of a truth. But they lead you to Satan in Jesus' name. That's right. That's right. Viewers, have you ever been in a church or a religion where the preacher have manipulated the followers so bad yeah. until parents give? Mm. Their sons to the preacher so he can sodomize them at will. That's right. That's right. Parents give. That's right. They eight, nine, ten, eleven year old daughter to the preacher yeah. so he can have sex with at will. At will. This is done in the Mormon church. That's right. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. Yeah. These no good, rotten, hell deserving priests. That's priests. True. Mothers and fathers is giving their 12-year-old, 13-year-old, 14-year-old daughters. That's right. So the priests can violate their virginity at will. At will. That's right. That's right. Fathers donate his wife. Mm. Yeah. Amen. And remember, they call themselves prophets. Prophets. Sister, are you pregnant? Because a preacher told you it was the Lord's will. Yeah. Mother, are your daughters pregnant? Yeah. Because the preacher said it was his, it was the Lord's will to plant his seed in <laughs> fertile soil. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. Father, do your son have problems sitting down? Mm. Because your pastor raped him. That's right. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Come on, Talk back to me. Amen. Amen. Do your religion have a hit squad yeah. that when members leave your leader becomes so irate, so upset that he send members after those that left to kill them. Right. That's right. That's codism. That's codism. In the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. These preachers are nothing but gangsters. Yes. Religious mafia. You got the Italian mafia. You got Haitian mafia. You got the uh, Spanish mafia. And you got religious mafia. Yes. Many of you watching me today, your mama's dead. In some religion. You lost your mother, you lost your father, and you lost your children. Yes. And some religious practice where they was taught self-murder or to be murdered by someone else right. is doing God's will. God's, they shall put you out of the synagogue. They shall put you out of the synagogue. And the time cometh that whosoever and the time killeth you come that whoever kill you will think that will doing think, God's will service. Think Will think, right. will think, will think, will think that he doeth God's service. They're doing God will. That's right. That's right. You see, these men, they don't preach nothing. No. That's why we blast false prophets so hard. That's right. And so rough. That's right. To wake you up. Wake you up. So you don't become a victim of a cult. Right. Posing as apostolic or Pentecostal or holiness. That's right. That's right. God has.
has been artificially represented today. Yeah. That's right. Under the common heading Christianity. That's right. And Christ is not being taught the right way, right way. but through pretense. That's right. First chapter of the book of Philippians. Of Philippians. Follow me in the Bible. In Philippians chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 18. Listen. What then? What then? Notwithstanding. Every way. Every way. Whether in pretense. Whether in faking. Or in truth. Or in reality. Christ is preached. Christ is preached. That's right. That's so right. these men say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to go out and kill Yes. Those people that left this organization. Right. Tell them it's the Lord's will. That's right. How is it? How is it? That's right. That you become so warped. Years ago, there was a man named Malachi York. Yes. Mm -hmm. Supposed to be head of the Hebrew Israelites, I believe. Of who? New Orleans? New Orleans. Hmm. Well, a lot of them was calling themselves black Jews. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And they had a hit squad. Wow. And he declared himself to be God. My Lord, my Lord. And I remember when it came across the news, when the FBI had him in cuffs. They said we have arrested God today. <laughs> Viewers, do you have family members today that was legitimately charged with murder because they were sitting under the influence of a no good rotten preacher? That's right. That's right. Who said God Sink him. Yeah. How did you get so ignorant? So blind? This book, the scriptures, the Bible, have been misused for years to murder, to rape, to spill blood, yeah. to have slaves. Yes. To sodomize boys. That's right. To take your money. That's right. To take your houses. Yes. To take your business. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of the wisdom of Solomon. How is it you run to it like wildebeest in Africa? Yeah. Because you went after a sound. And didn't go after God. Solomon says, there's a way yes. that seemed right unto man. But the end thereof are the ways of death. Of death. Any religion that tell you to kill each other. Amen. Murder each other in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. or in the name of Allah or in the name of Jehovah yes. or in the name of Muhammad oh, yeah. or in the name of Moses. That's right. That's codism. That's right. That's right. Are you listening? In the book of the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 22. Says what? Moreover, this was not enough for them. Moreover! It wasn't enough for them. That they erred in the knowledge of God. That they erred in the knowledge of God. But whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance. They lived in the great conflict of, of ignorance. stupidity. Those so great plagues called they peace. Those so great plagues called them peace. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. They murdered their children in sacrifice. And they was in great what? This was not enough for them, that they erred in the knowledge of God. Yes. Though so great plagues called they peace. 
And what did they do? For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. They murdered their children in sacrifice. Or used secret ceremonies. You know, most cults have secret initiations. That's right. That's right. This is written. It's written. Listen. For whilst they slew their children in sacrifice. You know, like you Masons. Yeah. You know how you stand in your square stance. Yeah. You got to tear your shirt over your heart. That's right. And roll up one pants leg. And you're blindfolded. Marbles is cast, several white marbles and one black marble. And once the marbles is cast, and if the black marble fall on you, then you are considered black ball. Yeah. But if you get the white marble, then initiation, you are told you have to bring food to feed the goat. Yeah. And yet there is no goat to feed. You stand there like a fool blindfolded with your shirt torn over your heart and your pants leg raised up and a bunch of grown dumb ignorant men running around you like the little rascals yeah making noise trying to scare you yeah you get at a certain point in masonry where you lay aside the bible and you pick up the quran now you have to take a vow of secrecy that's right and if you your agreement is not to expose <laughs> Those secrets, if you do, you agree to have your tongue cut out and your heart snatched out. Right. Come get my tongue. I dare you to touch my heart. That's right. I beat you back into hell with Bible. That's right. That goes for if I got any former masons here. Yeah. You know, when you are former mason, you repent of your sins and go down the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That secret is no secret no more. You don't mind telling it. Right. Exploiting it. Make it known. That's right. Because Jesus said in secret, have I said nothing? That's right. Many of you mothers are in jail today. You was in a religion. You murdered your daughter. Yes and your son and the rest of your children as a form of a ritual because you obeyed the orders of some imposter that's right who you thought was a man of god for whilst they slew their children in sacrifice they slew their children in sacrifice or use secret ceremonies or use secret ceremonies or made revelings of strange rites or made re look at here amen Give chapter and verses. Uh, the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, now we're at verse 23. They made revelings, they made revelings of, of strange, strange rites. rites. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. Wait a minute. They do what? They kept neither lives. They what? They kept neither lives. They kept. Amen. Neither lives. Nor marriages. No marriages. Any longer undefiled. What do you mean you didn't keep it undefiled? Because they swapped women. Right. That's right. That's right. It's written here. They trade women. That's right. That's right. No more undefiled because the society, the cult, is full of defilement. That's right. And they are designed to wallow in defilement without measure. That's right. That's right. These cults are hiding behind a cross. Many of these cults are hiding behind a star and a crescent moon. Yes. Many of these cults are hiding behind the star of the so-called star of David. That's right. That's right. When you fail to follow the standards of God Himself, Himself. and your worship deviate from what God outlined, yeah. you are nothing but cultism. That's right. But I and some cults, mm -hmm. you have to bring your wife. And lay her on the altar. That's right. So the priest can have sex with her. With her. In the public. That's right. That's right. Disorder. Standing around with hoods on. Yeah. That was a rapper died. Not that long ago. I believe it was called DMX. Yeah. yeah that's right. Right. And they had his funeral. On social media. And I believe it's one performer, Mr. Kanye Mess. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. 
the cultism. cultism. All surrounded the man's coffin with hoods My Lord. bowling back and forth. My Lord. Like a bunch of Satanists having a ritual. Mm. God is not mocked. God is not mocked. Your religions are playing with God. Yeah. And when you play with God, you play with your eternal life. That's right. You see, when you stand firm and bark loud like this, you become a target to the world. That's right. See, that's why these preachers that's won't right. preach nothing. Yeah. They don't want to become a target to the world. No the only thing they want to target is your wallet. That's right. I want to target your soul. That's right. They give you spiritual liberation. Yes. That you may be ready when the Lord God of heaven and earth come. That's right. Listen. They kept neither lives nor marriages any longer undefiled. They don't keep no life. Mm -hmm. Nor marriages. No life. No life is honored now. That's right. Any life can be violated. Right. Any life can be offered. That's right. Any life can be murdered. That's right. Next of kin. Yeah. Some of these cults, again, if you're in any religion, and one of the rituals are you got to give the preacher your whole bank account. Yeah. Got to give the preacher your house. That's right. Notice he get everything. That's right. Mm -hmm. You're right. He ain't sharing nothing. <laughs> oh, no. The preacher get up and use the Old Testament, how they had concubines that didn't tell you it's Bible and it's for us today. Yeah. Let me give you some good knowledge. I want you to remember this heading. Pass truth, depending upon what it is. Here, I want you to hear me good. Past truth can be a present lie. That's right. Past truth can be a present day lie. That's right. I want to say, how was that, Pastor Jennings? Let me give you a good example. In the days of old, they had to offer a sacrifice. A lamb, a bullock, a heifer, or a turtle dove. Right. As a form of sin offering. Yeah. For redemption of their sins. Yeah. You try to do that today for your sins, based upon past truth. Right. Your actions is a present lie because the death of Jesus took the place of all those Old Testament sacrifices. That's right. When you were baptized in the days of John the Baptist, who baptized unto repentance. repentance. In the past, that was true. You had to be baptized during that time with the baptism of John. Right. If you tell me today I got to be baptized with the baptism of John based upon past truth and try to baptize in that same manner today, that past truth is a present lie. That's right. Because that baptism expired. That's right. For John said, one come after me. Oh, he's mightier than I. He's going to baptize you. Yeah. With the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who will take God and that with fire. Now do you see what I'm saying? That's right. 